hello guys welcome to tech mode and in this tutorial uh, what we are going to do is that we will basically learning what is conditional flows in postman so uh, this is a uh, this is a part of the series api testing using postman and if you have haven't watched my previous tutorials you can watch watch them uh, on right hand side because uh, it will be include it will be a, like a, a middle of a middle of the session or you can say tutorial so you will not get much of the details if you don't have a previous experience using postman all right so let's start so let's understand what is workflow in postman so uh, workflow is a basically uh, it's a kind of a sequence of request for example a, a suppose if you want to like like uh, if particular thing happen then you wanted to happen this hap uh, that happen and uh, if that not happen that you want to happen this one so uh in in a nutshell you can say that if certain uh, like if we wanted to have like certain if loops for example if the request one successful then we have to move to request three else we have to do request two and if request three is passed we have to move, move back to move to request five and uh, we have to skip the request four because uh, uh we don't want because this is our workflow all right so uh, that's what uh, workflow is all about so let's take an example of this workflow that i have shown you in the diagram for example i have a search by name request so if i get a uh, 200 okay response from a re from this request i do a get detail by id because uh, search by name gives me certain id all right and that id i will use in second one but if i get uh, if i didn't get any 200 okay i will make a, another request which 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 will be search by title and i am done with it so uh, if i if i get 200 okay by like uh, using get detail by id then i do another request with search by name and go on so this is my workflow basically and uh, uh, this will be this this workflow will be automating use uh, using postman so uh, let's see uh, how we can automate them in postman all right so condition workflow so uh, how uh, so there is a particularly a pre made uh, you can say built in function in postman which is postman dot set next next request and there is a request name you can specify the name of a request like request name as shown in the first one and if you want to like terminate this execution you can just pass the null value and it will ter terminate it so uh, one ma one major point that you would like i would like to uh, tell you is that this request uh, this code that you are going to add it, you are going to add in a test all right and the few points that you have to keep in mind uh, while using this request so let's start with those points the first point is that it is always executed at the end of the script for example you are making a, uh, a request like a request one and you and after your request has done let us the post action of this script you can do postman dot segment next request to another request all right so it will be executed at the script and it has a scope so uh, suppose you have a collection particularly and there is a particularly collection so this collection uh, those so, so the postman dot set, set net request will know that okay this uh, this is my collection and he knows that all the requests are all about it but they, uh, suppose there are two different folders and and they have a multiple request then it will it'll be then postman dot set net request will not be able to work it all right so uh, make sure you keep in mind that it has a particularly scope in it all right so uh, let's do a demo time make sure you have postman installed and everything installed uh, watch out my other tutorial so let's jump back to postman all right all right so this is uh, this is my workflow uh, let me close it uh, let me show you why so what i have done is that i have a movie api and this is a superman that i am going to search uh, as a response all right i'll send the response and uh, let's see what we'll get so this is my workflow and what i have done is that i have a search by name search by title get element get detail by id or search by name so if search by name is successful i don't need a uh, search by title i can directly pass go to search get detail by id and go and list go on so what i have done here in that you can just navigate to test folder or test tab what i have done is that i'll get the 200 okay message as a test and if the response is 200 i need to go to the detail one else i have to uh, go to the request of uh, search by title so in the uh, suppose uh, i get a note uh, note a 200 okay message then what this will do is that it'll, it will basically uh, check and it will search again again but i don't want it because uh, you can just pass 
if 200 okay it will make it another request but i don't want but, but uh, we can do what we can do is that I, we have to go to name tool in this one this is small bug name tool so what i have done is that i have uh, if search by title uh, if name is failing for example i am not getting 200 okay search by title will call the name too that that's what we want and if name is passing it will call the get detail by id and in detail by id i am calling the search name too so this is my flow as you can see so what you can do is that you can just run it uh, using collection runner if you don't know much about it collection runner you can follow up my other tutorials it will get to know that uh, so right now as you can see let me show you it's loading uh, so if uh, uh, everything is correct uh, i am running that workflow with no environment let's start the running for running process so uh, if everything goes by like search by name if it return 200 it will go to search uh, get search by id and after that a name to all right and if so as you can see that sec get by title is skipped because i am getting the 200 okay and now as you can see it called the name too it will keep on going uh, so this is the workflow that i have uh, like this is the one of one of the workflow that have we have automated using the postman so that was quite quite easy and simple tutorial and if you have any doubt you can uh, mail me and uh, let me go back to my presentation so these are the some few links if you wanted to check it out the conditional workflows you can automate a certain certain request for example i have a lot i have around 100 of requests which are automatic using uh, this kind of workflows for example if there is a particularly login i have to go to there where and so these kind of things you can do it and if you have any doubt you can email me my email id is promodata at the red liv.com so thanks a lot guys thank you for thank you for your uh, time and see you in the next tutorial all right